Hello folks and welcome to the vlog. This is day 16 of my 90 day challenge. Now for the past 16 days uh, I've been filming on this little camera, the Osmo Pocket. Now I've looked at uh, a number of videos online and there have been a lot of reviews, some of them most of them pretty good I have to say. So not many people have uh, reviewers bought with their own money, mostly were influencers who were given the product to review by DJI. Now when somebody is given the product they are expected to give it a good review. So what you really want to look for is the independent reviews, people like me who bought with their own money and have used it in the wild. I have now a considerable amount of experience uh, in the use of it. Now the first thing that troubled me was the lack of a quarter inch 20 connection so that I couldn't put it onto my tripod. I have here a Joby tripod and I have a number of other small tripods. What I normally uh, use for vlogging, certainly on the go, is my selfie stick. We can't attach this because there is no quarter inch 20 connection. So I was looking around for things that I could use and I found that I had this little clamp which actually was used as a microphone clamp and this has a quarter inch 20 mount and this works quite well and because it's articulated um, I can place it in any convenient position like so um, and then the Osmo pocket just clamps in like so and that is a reasonably solid clamp. So until such time as I get the accessories which are all on order that's what I'm making do with. How have I found it in actual use? Well I found a couple of issues. First of all when you turn it off and it's set on video as it is now sometimes when I turn it on again wait the five seconds for it to boot sometimes it comes back in photo mode. This button is overly sensitive. It's very easy just to give a one press click to photo without remembering to click again to put it back into video mode. The other thing I find is if I want to go into selfie mode or go from selfie mode to follow mode and I do the three clicks, one, two, three. That wasn't fast enough. I've actually just gone on to photo mode again. So to get it to do, to flip, you've actually got to do it very quick. One, two, three, like that. Now it'll flip. So you've actually got to be, there you are. I tried again. Oh, and I ended up turning it off. So that's my number one bugbear. The other bugbear I guess is on focusing. The screen is far too small to be certain that you have got focus. What about the upsides? The biggest upside, upside on this is its sheer size. I mean look at that. It fits in the palm of my hand. One of the beauties of this is the fact that it only takes five seconds to boot. Let's see. I'm pressing on now. One, two, three, four, five. It wasn't even five seconds. And now it's ready to go. It's very good for getting that instant video which you don't want to miss. Now the next thing I'm struggling with is the connectivity to my phone. Because my phone, which I'm actually using to, to video this at the moment, my phone has a case on it. I require my case so that I can attach accessories to it. Now this is the Olliclip Studio case. It has a lot of accessories. It allows me to attach the microphone which you see on the top there and also a quarter inch 20 mount which you can see down there and I can also have <coughs> uh, other, other mounts as well. So that's extremely useful. I can't attach this to my phone because the case extends too far and this connector doesn't go far enough into the phone to enable me to do it. So I've actually been using my iPad and that works pretty well. One of the things I do like about it 
is the fact that when you plug it in, the app automatically displays. I didn't do anything and the, the display has come up. Second thing is, well, we need uh, the uh, iPad or iPhone in order to change some of the settings and especially the Pro setting. And one of the things that I find really annoying is that when you put it onto the Pro setting and you remove it from the iPhone or iPad and you then want to change something on the phone, on the camera itself, it doesn't allow you to. It says exit Pro mode. So in order to change, let's say from video to slow-mo or anything else, I have to exit Pro mode. And then in order to get Pro mode back again, I have to connect it back to <coughs> my iPad. So that, that's annoying. I, I don't quite understand why the DJI did that. However, you know, with these limitations, you learn to live with them. And the other thing I've noticed is that when I'm flipping the camera, it puts a bit of clicking noise into the microphone. So the microphones, whilst they're not picking up any noise from the motor of the gimbal, which is good and is a great uh, plus over the original Osmo, Nevertheless, it is picking up those clicks, which is a bit irritating. However, the audio on the camera is acceptable. It's not super, but it's certainly adequate. Another way of overcoming the connectivity problem for with the iPhone in its case is to use an external cable. And I happen to have this cable here and that is the same connector as here. So I plug it in and I can then plug this into my iPhone. That gives me an external view. Now my last gripe about the Osmo Pocket is not about the camera itself, which I actually love, but it's about DJI. And I just do wish that they had synchronized the issue of the accessories with the Osmo Pocket itself. The fact that we've had to wait, what is it now, three weeks and they're still not available. I have them on order. I have yet to receive them. I can't wait. I have ordered the combo, which is the wireless module, the stand or the connector and the thumb wheel. I think I will like the thumb wheel because not so much for the wheel, though I will use that but more for the fact that it has the two extra buttons. So I'm not reliant upon this single button here for changes, like switching from photo to video and flipping the camera. So that is that is going to be useful and that's going to be worthwhile. I think that's about it. This has gone on far longer than I intended, but I, I'm going to close this by saying yes I do like this camera a lot. I loved the old Osmo, the original Osmo, uh, so long as I could attach external audio. Yes I do love it and I will carry on using it. I, I may not use it uh, as my number one vlogging camera because uh, I do have the Canon G7X Mark II but the reason I'm not using it at the moment is because I had a slight accident. I was running with my dog and I tripped on his foot on his leg and I crashed to the ground. The camera went face down and I broke the lens. The Osmo Pocket will definitely be used as my gimbal camera of choice. That's it for today. I hope you've uh, found this useful. And if you did, please uh, click that like button. Please leave a comment down below and tell me your experience of using this or other gimbal cameras. And please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Click on the notification button, which is down there. And I'll see you again in the next video. Bye for now.